Okay, this is about uh, the wearing of a leather, leather vest with a Harley Davidson bottom and, and top rocker and a Willie G motif on it. What we have is a, uh, a 49 year old uh, male resident of Cairns. He, on the 21st of uh, December, he was out and about with uh, two friends having a joyride on their Harleys. Uh, they had been approached whilst taking a, uh, a photograph at Palm Cove. They've been approached it's alleged that they've been approached by the uh, uh, Sergeant of Arms for the uh, Rebels uh, chapter in, in Cairns. Uh, we will allege that uh, that Sergeant of Arms uh, threatened the victim and uh, demanded that he remove his uh, leather vest with the bottom and top rockers. Uh, he, st he stated that uh, uh, only one percenters can wear those vests. What happened then is that uh, the uh, victim and his two friends uh, drove away from the, rode away from that location and uh, went to one of the friend's home address. And about an hour later, uh, we, will, we will allege that two uh, rebel motorcycle gang members attended that address, uh, called the victim to the uh, front yard of that address, where, he, where they again demanded that he remove his leather jacket and he was then assaulted uh, to his face, to his head, to his back. Uh, he was transported to uh, Cairns Base uh, Hospital where he received treatment. And uh, our offender, uh, our victim later uh, attended uh, uh, the police station. We have, uh, uh, this, is, this has been a complaint of legitimate motorcycle riders for a long time that they are threatened by criminal gang members for what they can and cannot wear. And now that uh, the community has some confidence in reporting these matters, we now have a number of members of the community coming forward with complaints of extortion, of threats, and we are, that those matters are under investigation. You know, we're, we're encouraging the legitimate motorcycle riders to use our roads uh, on an everyday basis. Uh, you know, we want to see more and more legitimate motorcycle club riders out there. And uh, we will take action each and every time that uh, a threat is reported to us. It was a simple vest with, uh, as depicted in the picture, of uh, Harley on the top rocker, Davidson on the bottom rocker, and with a Willie G emblem as its uh, centrepiece. Um, you know, as I said, uh, le legitimate uh, bike riders, uh, you know, we've had a number of meetings with legitimate bike riders, and they've told us in relation to the threats that they receive from uh, uh, criminal motorcycle clubs, in relation to the wearing of their rockers, and uh, uh, it's, it's really good to see that uh, this victim has come forward. Has the victim ever experienced any other threats beforehand with his vest from Bikey Games? No, he's a, uh, a resident of Cairns um, and uh, he's a member of a uh, local legitimate club and uh, uh, this was the uh, first time that he had been threatened. Can, can you just explain which men, the two 27 year old men and the 30 year old men, who was involved in the assault and who is okay, the... Okay, yeah. The, uh, the, the victim and his, and his two mates, they stopped at Palm, Palm Cove to take a photograph and uh, uh, they were approached by 30 year old, uh, the Sergeant of Arms for the uh, Rebels Criminal Motorcycle Gang at that location where the demand was made for him to remove that jacket. It was then about one hour later that a further two rebels attended the home address of uh, one of those friends where again the threat was uh, made to uh, remove the jacket. Uh, our victim didn't remove the jacket and, and, and for that he was belted. Did the 30-year-old assault the man? No. The 30-year-old, uh, the sergeant of arms, did not attend at that location. What's the 27-year-old? The two 28-year-olds attended at that location. So what's the 30-year-old being charged with? 
He's been charged with committing the, the assault. He is a uh, counsellor for that offence. So he ordered the assault? We will allege that uh, he is a counsellor for that offence, yes, that he ordered that, that, that assault to occur. And further than that, uh, all three, three offenders have been charged with offence occasioning bodily harm in company. And further, the further circumstance of aggravation is that they are vicious lawless associates because they are committing that assault. Uh, we, we are alleging that they are committing that assault on behalf of the rebels' criminal motorcycle gang. Sorry, just to recap, they were wearing Harley Davidson jackets that they were asked to remove. Wasn't yeah, the one victim was wearing, uh, as depicted in the uh, photograph that's gone out to the media today, the uh, uh, a Harley Davidson vest with a bottom and top rocker and a Willie G patch in the middle of it. Why on earth would they tell them to remove that? This has been a concern of legi legitimate oh. motorcycle riders for years in relation to the threats that they receive from the crime gangs in relation to wearing top and bottom rockers. The edict that the, uh, that the crime gangs put out is that they are the only persons that are allowed to wear such uh, product. You know, this is an everyday thing sold by Harley Davidson. And that's why it's important we now have members of the community coming forward and making a complaint. And this is a serious crime. You know, he was threatened roadside and then two members of the rebels have uh, uh, come to an address where he has uh, received uh, injuries as a result of an assault and been taken to hospital. Uh, why, why, did the, uh, why is it now that it, sort of the charges have come to light? Did, did the victim come forward soon? After Look, the... this, this, uh, this occurred on the 21st of December. Um, at the time of the assault, the, uh, we will allege that the, uh, the two offenders on site committing the assault said to the uh, victim that uh, if you call the cops, we'll come back with baseball bats. So he's taken some time to uh, gather, his, gather his thoughts, speak with his family, and uh, he has come forward and, and made a complaint. How is the man now with his injuries? Look, he is recovering from his injuries. Look, you can uh, uh, take it that if uh, you come to Queensland and uh, you commit an offence under our legislation, you will be arrested and charged. What about, I guess, what is this doing for, you know, we've had this incident in Cairns, which is a tourist hotspot, or in the Gold Coast, which is a tourist hotspot. What's this doing for the tourism image there, the fact that there are these uh, bikies around and being charged? Well, look, I think uh, in the long run it'll be a good look because we will have you know, the legitimate bike riders will feel confident and comfortable coming to Queensland because they will not feel threatened or intimidated by crime gang members. And just on uh, today being the first day of tattoo parlour owners and workers can register, um, is, is this a positive move for yourselves and how will you cooperate with authorities with the background checks? Yeah, look, uh, from today, uh, the new legislation is in vogue and uh, uh, Office of Fair Trading has carriage of uh, that uh, uh, tattoo legislation. However, we're working in partnership with the uh, Office of Fair Trading and we will be carrying out those back get background checks for uh, CMG links. How helpful will that be that the tattoo parlours, um, everyone who works in them will, will be checked and there'll be that more available data? Well, that's correct. Uh, it's, it's a case that uh, uh, all of the owners and persons that work within uh, each and every uh, tattoo parlour uh, will be assessed uh, for, for criminal motorcycle links and of course that is very important intelligence that we will use. What advice would you give to legitimate motorcycle motorcyclists, I guess, because this man's obviously refused to take off his vest before being beaten up. Would you say that they should avoid wearing their own vest for the time being or continue or...? No, what, what we ask uh, uh, the members of uh, 
our legitimate motorcycle uh, clubs is that uh, we want to see them continue their rides. Uh, we want to see the, the number of legitimate motorcycle riders increase on our roads. And if at any time uh, they are threatened, intimidated, or, they're, uh, or, they, or, or there is violence, if they could uh, come forward to police, uh, as this victim has done in Cairns. Like, the Cairns police have done a, an especially... Uh, that it's been a good job by the, uh, by the local uh, detectives up there putting this together from the 21st of December and, uh, and securing the arrest yesterday. Did you expect that there have been other people who have been told if you go to the cops, uh, we'll come back with baseball bats. That sounds like there could be dozens of people around the state who haven't brought their stories forward. Look, we have received that intelligence. We have spoken to those people. We have spoken to those people and they, in the past they have given us the intelligence but not made an official complaint. Uh, so yes, it, it, it has happened in the past um, many times. And you should be able to wear a Harley Davidson patch on your jacket. Um, what motorcycle legitimate club was the man a part of up in Cairns? Uh, he was a part of one of the local uh, hog groups. Was the, his friends that he was with, they were all part of the Look, they were, uh, uh, two of them were uh, members of the local uh, hog groups and the third, the third uh, friend was visiting from uh, interstate and, uh, you know, they were taking photographs at uh, Palm Cove. And like, were they known to each other? Uh, that matter is still under investigation. Do the police have any idea of how, um, I guess, were the men followed back to their home by brothers? Is that the Yeah, idea? look, that, that remains part of the investigation. Thanks a lot, folks. Yeah.